God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Jesus loves you. God is your father and my father. As you are about to watch this television program called Miracle Moments, my beloved people of God, be well assured God is your Father. He loves you. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter in what situation you are, only believe God is your Father and He loves you he loves you with an everlasting love. Jesus said, I have come that you shall have life and have it more in abundance. As you watch this Miracle Moments program, you may be in tears. You may be going through hardships in life. You may be feeling awfully sick with some disease. Believe. Jesus Christ shed his blood. He forgave all our sins, no matter who we are. And he rose from the dead. He is alive. He has sent the Holy Spirit to heal you and fill you and give you life and life in abundance. Today, Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. He loves you. As you watch this program, he will confirm his word with signs, wonders, miracles, healings right now because he loves you and he loves you and because he lives, you shall live also. God loves you. Pastor, this is Anne. She yes. was suffering with a swollen eardrum. She was out of the country and she watched you live. And she said instantly, as you called it out, the swelling and the pain was completely swollen gone. Swollen eardrum in your ears, completely and you watched me on TV or whatever. And it's gone now, child. You have, everything is clear in your ear. Who healed this blessed girl? Who healed this blessed girl? All the swollen eardrum, everything, Jesus has healed her. Stretch your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Pastor Dennis has an amazing testimony tonight. Suffering from two years with back pain and knee pains. Tonight when you called on the Lord, immediately he got healed and he's praising the Lord. Yes, you had it, son. Back pain, you can bend down now, son. You can move it left, right, and all. And the knees also, son. You can swing your legs and all. All the pain is gone, son. The Lord loved you and healed you, child. Look at the joy on this face. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is Lena. Came yes. to the service today with a blocked left ear in pain. Now the pain and the blockage left completely pain, gone. Child, you came. And you've got all the medicines in your pharmacy. Nothing is going to work. Jesus healed you. It's gone, child. Completely gone. You came with a left pain. Who healed this beloved mother? This beloved daughter? Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Alexandra. One year ago, she fell down from the stairs and, and she hurt her knee very badly. She didn't go to the doctor. She kept on praising and thanking God. And as soon as you pronounce the healing, it's all gone. She cannot feel the pain at all. You don't have any pain at all, child. You don't have any pain at all. He loves you. Jesus loves you, child. He loves you so much, child. Who healed this beloved girl? It's all Jesus. Pastor, this is Christine. She came with a pain on the right-hand side of her hip and a sore throat. Now all that pain and discomfort, completely gone. Right-hand side of the hip. Pain, pain oh, on her hip, yes, hip and, and a sore and throat. And the face, oh, throat. It's all gone, completely child. You can swing and show me on your, because it's your waist and your hips. All the pain is gone. You came with that. And it's gone, child. Who healed this beloved girl? Lift your hands to Jesus. 
Pastor, this is Vrishali. She's been having severe pain on her right shoulder from past few days. The moment you call for its healing, it's all gone. Jesus has healed her. You feel fine, child. On the right shoulder. You can move it, child. You can move it. You came with this pain. And now it's gone. And you can freely move it. He loves you. Pastor, his name is Smith. Smith came with a terrible back pain today. And he could not bend himself. But today in the service, he could bend now his fine, arms. son. You can bend down and show me, child. You couldn't do this. You had a terrible pain. You can swing and show me. You feel fine, son. Hallelujah. You are okay. Look at the sweet smile of Smith. Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Beryl and Michaela. They both have testimonies. Beryl came with a chest pain and fever. Now she says the fever and the chest pain completely gone. Came with a chest pain, child. Fever, chest pain, all the pains are gone. Who healed this beloved girl? Everyone say Jesus. Loves you, yes. And, and Michaela, had, she said she had a piercing pain on the left-hand side of her hip. Now that pain is gone. On your hip side. Healed. The piercing pain is gone now. You can move. Some more, you can move. Bend down and move. Oh, no. Who healed this beloved girl? Little daughter, lift your hands to Jesus. I was suffering from this pancreatic disease from past three months and this is a very rare disease that you have got and they said it will affect me every three months but on that particular day I was really vomiting a lot I had a very powerful pricking pain just right below my chest in the area of pancreas but the moment I came to church when Pastor Dil pointed out the sickness pancreatic uh, sickness I, I could feel some heat passing over my body from head to toe. I was uh, feeling the heat over my body and I was really excited. And that moment I realized I have been healed completely. Till this moment, I don't have that pain. This is what I want the world to know all the time. He loves you. I couldn't even walk two steps. At that time, I couldn't even bend my leg. I couldn't even sit. I couldn't even turn left or right. The doctor told me that I do have the osteoporosis. They realized that the Lord had touched him and healed him completely. All the tests are negative. You can move your legs, son. Yeah. And it's all gone. You can move it again, my loving son. Look at this. Look at this. This is how a testimony must be. Do you believe Jesus is alive here? Then sings my soul is here my savior god to thee you can receive your miracle you can receive it how great thou art he's the great one he's the great one he's the mighty one how great He loves you, he loves you, and sings my soul. He loves you, my Savior God to thee. Jesus heals you, Jesus delivers you, Jesus heals you, Jesus delivers you, Jesus heals you, Holy Spirit delivers you, Holy Spirit heals you, your Father. Jesus did it all for you and me. That's the message she heard. That's the message she heard. She was dying. No money, no doctors, no medications. All finished. And the, and the disease or the problem was getting worse and worse. It could be you here, not, necess not necessarily medical, a mental issue, or an emotional, or a family, or a child, I don't know. But Holy Spirit speaks, He speaks to you and to me. My loving child, but don't give up. Jesus never gives up. God is your Father. You can come to, she said, I will go to Him, not as a slave, not as a sinner, not as a saint. 
I will go, listen carefully, preachers worldwide. I will go to him, not as a saint, oh, I'm right, I'm fine. I won't go to him as a sinner, I hate sin. I won't go to him as a slave. I will go to him as a son, as a child. Lift your hands to him. It's far different, beloved. It's far different. This is what she believed. She is yet to become a saint. She is yet to become a saint. But she said, I will go as a child to him. I don't need any permission. I see him as God. I see him as Father. I know his love. No permission needed. Romans 8 verse 17. If you are a child, you are an heir and a co-heir along with Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verse 17. You don't have to be a slave. You don't have to sin. No, you don't have to be a saint. I am a saint. I know what I am doing. No. I am a sinner. I can't come out of my sin. Don't give excuses. Tonight you are out of it. Calling yourself a sinner is no good all the time. You have to become a saint like his child now. Once you become his child, he will make you his saint immediately. She didn't come as a saint. She didn't come as a sinner. She hated sin. She didn't come as a saint. She didn't come as a slave. The message she heard is the right message. Jesus is not a slave driver. Only the defeated devil is a slave driver. He is your father. Lift your hands to him. She heard the right message because she was in the right ministry like this. My loving children, he's a father, I will come to him. Hebrews 4, 16. Hebrews 10, verse 19, 20. I will touch just the hem, the little, because he's God also. He is almighty in infinite power and love. So just a little touch of his dress, I will be whole. She said it, she said it, she said it to herself. Matthew 9, verse 21, she told herself. She looked at her body. When she decided to go to him and said, she looked at herself, fear not, sorrow not. I am healed tonight. Before you come to church, before you come to this kind of ministry, you must tell yourself, I am going to touch Jesus. I am going to touch Jesus. Not any pastor here. I am going to touch Jesus. And I will come blessed, healed, saved, delivered, rejoicing in victory. How many of you believe tonight? That's what she said before she came to Jesus. She came, she touched, instantly she was healed. Instantly she saw him as God, she saw him as Father, she saw him as her healer, she saw him as her deliverer, she saw him as her savior. She said, I will be healed, it's all done for me. I'm going to take it from him with no permission. He's God. She saw him as God. She saw him as father. She saw him as healer. She saw him as savior. She saw him as deliverer. Oh, beloved, she saw him as her life. She didn't say, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know the Lord's will happen. That is, if you go here and there, all these spiritual saintly talks will come. Oh, let God's will happen. Beloved, God's will is to do signs and wonders in your life. Hebrews 2 verse 4, last line. Darling children, you don't have to come as a saint or a sinner or a slave. Let anything happen to me. This is my fate. 
Don't come, don't believe all this nonsense. No sense at all. Believe only on the gospel and you shall have life and life in abundance. I will be healed. I will be blessed. I will be saved. I will be his child. I will be holy. I will be rejoicing. I will have the peace. I will live long. I will win over every battle, every struggle in my life. You must say to yourself before you step in to a powerful ministry like this. She was about to touch Jesus, the great one, and that's what she said. I will be healed. Mark 5, verse 28. She told herself. She told herself. Matthew 9, 21. It, the problem may be difficult for you. He will make you cross over with victory. He will bring you into a large place in life. My loving children, in every desire of yours, parents, young children, elders, anyone, he will do it for you. He is here tonight. He loves you. He loves you. Touch him tonight. She touched his garment by faith because it was too difficult because a big crowd and according to the blessed religious laws of that nation, she just can't press through that crowd. She was physically so weak, 12 years of blood flow. Physically, she was virtually down. But she made it. She was determined, her faith was determined because of Jesus. I am going to touch him. My vision is to get to him. My vision is to be with him. My vision, vision is not something that, vision is my desire is to be with him. My desire is to touch him. My desire is to please him. My desire is to go to him. My desire is to be with him. You will be the blessed person on this earth. In your education career, your job, your home, your family, your ministry. The power of God went through Jesus. Just went. She did not ask permission. She did not tell Peter and James, pray for me. Peter and John, take me to Jesus. She said, he's father to me. He's God, he's father. I don't come as a slave to ask someone to help me. I don't come as a saint trusting in my own good works and righteousness. I don't come as a sinner so that the defeated devil can stop me. I come as the child so that nothing can stop me. My own self cannot stop me because I don't claim to be right and self all the time. I don't put myself all the time. I don't come as a slave so that no man can push me around. I come as his child. Lift your hands to him. Every one of you, I want you to absorb this message. She came believing you are God and my Father, my healer, my redeemer, my savior. That's what she heard. When you hear the right message in a right ministry from a right man or woman of God, that's it. Jesus is real in your life now. The disease went off just like that. The power of God went through Jesus. Jesus did not touch her. Jesus did not talk to her. She did not stand there and tell Jesus because the press was a big problem for her. The press, the crowd, the, your enemy may be too much. She could have said, oh, too much of crowd. How can I go to Jesus? I will sit at home and pray. No. She made her way through the crowd, determined to reach Jesus. If you are determined never to give up in your ambitions, in your desires, because my ambition, my expectation, 
my anticipation, my goal, my vision, my task, my reach out point. Or you may say destiny, whichever way you understand. I don't understand destiny because I'm on eternity. Whether I do my job or my studies or as a housewife or a husband or a banker or a director or an engineer or an accountant or anyone or an un unemployed fellow like me, anyone, I desire only one thing, to get to Jesus and be with Jesus every moment on this earth and rapture and eternal in heaven. Your finances will find a breakthrough tonight itself. He's here tonight. Your sickness and disease will leave tonight. Your fear and sorrow will leave tonight. Your sins will leave tonight. Your addictions will leave tonight. He's your Father and your God, mighty one. The power of God just went. Jesus stopped there. Who took it? Who is this child of mine? Many are coming and touching me as saints. Many are touching me as sinners. Many are touching me as slaves. But there is one as a child has touched me. There is one as a child has touched me. Peter came and said, sir, sir, there are many touching you and what are you telling? John would have said the same thing. Jesus said, no. In Matthew it is written beautifully, I know power has gone out of me in mark 5 my loving children and matthew 9 luke 8 it is written jesus said virtue power has gone out of me someone has taken the power no saint can touch that no sinner can have any access to that no slave can have a part of it but a child i can't stop it Lift your hands to your father. You don't know what he is to you and to me. He is your father. In the desperate moments of your life, he will turn it into delightful moments. Your moments of misery will turn into miracle moments. My loving child, your moments of trauma will turn into triumphant moments of life. He's here today. He loves you. Peter and John said many. Jesus said, yes, yes, yes. Some touch me as saints. Some touch me as sinners. Some touch me as slaves. I'm not interested in, in any one of them. I am only searching for my child. Close your eyes, please. He's here tonight, right behind me. He's touching you as his child are you ready to be his child forever he is here tonight he loves you they didn't understand all this she he waited there she came and fell before him and said i am the one sir i am the one not a sinner not a saint not a slave but your child Thing. not a saint not a sinner not a slave but his child h-i-s capital child he is here tonight i am the one jesus stopped there for the testimony he didn't go away oh someone is healed that's fine he waited there until she testified she came and fell before him said sir it's me it's me jesus looked at her you didn't come as a sinner you didn't come as a slave you didn't come as a saint you came as my child he said daughter go jesus loves you beloved people of god god is your father you have nothing to fear as you watch us live on YouTube. Only believe Jesus will do the needed miracle for you. His great power will flow into your lives, into your bodies, 
into every area of your life as you watch us live on YouTube. And beloved people of God, it's called YouTube and Jesus is looking at you. It's you that he loves you. It's you that he is going to bless you. So it's YouTube. So it's your time for a miracle. You will receive the miracle as you watch us live on YouTube. Subscribe to us and be with us as a family in the love of Jesus. Receive your miracle as you watch us live on YouTube. Jesus loves you. God loves you, beloved. God is your father. Jesus said, whatever you ask the father in my name, I will do it for you, for my father's glory. You have watched this program, Miracle Moments, and you have seen quite a many being healed. You have watched the testimonies and the praise reports. Now I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask Jesus to confirm his word in your life. No matter where you are, no matter what your disease, I'm going to pray for you. Jesus will heal you now. He will wipe away all your tears. I will pray for you right now. Loving Father, your loving children have watched this program. And I only ask you, Father, in all humility, in Jesus' name, your only begotten Son, Jesus' name, who is seated at your right hand side, Father, Whatever your children ask you, whatever your beloved people who watch this program ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, let it be done unto them. That's your word, God. Holy Spirit, I thank you, God. With your great power, you will fill your children. Whoever watches this, whatever may be their diseases, whatever may be the sicknesses, whatever may be the setbacks in their physical health, Lord Jesus, in your name, by your blood, by your resurrection, by your great Holy Spirit, by your holy word, and in your name, Jesus, let all these diseases, all these sicknesses disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Father, as you stretch your hands over these loving children, let your mighty power of the Holy Spirit flow into every cell of their body, into every organ of their body. Let them receive their healing and wholeness in life. Now, right now, Father, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Let the blind see, let the deaf hear, let the lame walk, let the dumb speak, let the dead rise. Let all their tears be wiped away. Let them all give you the glory and the honor and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen.